Hi everyone, I'd really appreciate it if you click like and comment down below what tutorials I'd see next in Python. Thanks and goodbye. Hello everyone, or should I say hello world? Haha, <laughs> programming puns. Today I am starting the series of Python for Beginners, a series I want to do which will help you all learn Python, the amazing programming language which helped me want to become a programmer in the future. Obviously you can't do what I want to do, but it is fantastic for just starting out. I mean, you can also use the program Scratch, if you know that. That's kind of program, that's more block program where you just drag stuff on. Not the best, but it's all right still. But today first, I'm gonna show you how to install Python. So type in Python on your search browser of choice. Search browser, I mean your web browser of choice. Go to python.org. Now, if you have a Windows version of XP or earlier, download 2.713. If you have a later than that, which you probably should, 3.62 is the one for you. 3.6.2 is the one for you. Now wait for that to download, it's only 30 megabytes, so it shouldn't take that long. And here we go. Python, blah, 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 blah. So for me, it says to upgrade now, so I'm probably gonna do that. For you guys, I would just recommend, it will probably say install, do not do customize unless you know what you're doing, just let it do its work. So I'll do upgrade now just because that means I probably have some upgrades to do on my current use of Python, which is absolutely fine. But for this episode, we're not going to do too much because it's just going to be the beginner showing you what we're going to be doing on a wider scale, kind of. I'll be showing you how to write your first program. So yeah, that's what it is, your first program. And if you heard from the start, I said, hello world. Well, that's what your first program for any programming language should be, to make a hello world program. And in Python, it's the simplest thing to do ever. So why don't we change it up a little bit? We'll do hello world and we'll make it say your name. That's gonna be a great thing to do and it's a lot of fun. Trust me, Python's great. You can do insane things with it. And when we get onto turtles, you'll love it. Okay, so now you have Python open and you'll see like untitled, file, edit, format, run, options, all that kind of stuff. But for some reason, OBS doesn't wanna show any of this, which is very annoying for me, but you can still see where my cursor is. It's at the very top, you'll see all this stuff. Doesn't matter that much, but if you get Python shell open and I have like a few lines of code, not code, a few like lines of information, click on file and then new file, and that's all you have to do, and you'll have a brand new idle. This is what this is what Python is. It's called Python idle. That's what you want open. Make sure you have that open. So first, let me show you how to make your print hello world, which is exactly what the code you need for this lesson. So type in print and then brackets quotation marks hello world that's it you can put a semicolon on the end you don't need it so now let's save this save this wherever you want i'm gonna just put it in a random folder that i will find uh python There we go, it's saved, perfect. And you can see there, print hello world. Uh, for the next time, I will try and find out how to make everything look a bit better so you can see where I'm saving it all. Sorry, I'm a bit new to using OBS to do tutorial stuff like this. So print hello world. So now if you click F5, or if you go to run, click run module, but I usually do F5 because it's quicker. And there you should be seeing it says hello world. And all those lines of code. That's what you should have had. If you had that before, remember to click file and new, but you can actually see that on this now, which is good. I'll try, again, I will try and fix that for later. Don't know why it is being all weird like that, but, you know, everything has its problems. And for me, recording stuff is one of those that always has its problems, but there you go. It says, hello world. And you can see where I've saved it right here. Hello world. Now, that's not the most interesting thing, obviously, but how can we do it a bit better than that? Well, let me show you. So, if you see here, it says print hello world. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna make it a little bit, hmm, how do I put this? A little bit, have a bit more of je ne sais quoi, and be a bit more interesting. So if you show people who do not know anything about programming, they'll think you are a genius. So, we're gonna, imp we're gonna do an input now. So if you do input, that is asking, the console will be asking you, the user, to input something. So we're gonna do, what is your name? Make sure you do a space after the end of that and then do your quotations, because then it will look nicer, trust me. So now we could just leave it like that. 
or you can do it like this. What this will do is any answer we set to lowercase, or you can set it to any answer to be higher case. Upper, bleh, any answer to be uppercase if you make it dot upper. I usually do prefer leaving it on one of them because when you're trying to make proper things later on, it does cause quite a few problems. But if you just leave it like this, that just means wherever you write, it'll accept. So if you typed in, say, my name's Saul, so I typed in capital S A U L and then it's a dot lower, it would just be all lowercase Saul and vice versa for upper. I did forget one thing because I haven't done Python for a while. You have to make a variable and equal this question. So how do you do that? Well, literally, use, let's just say name equals input. What is your name? So let's just try this out. So as you can see, it says, what is your name? So we're going to say our name is Saul. Hello world. Obviously, I didn't do anything, but when you click enter, just type it in normally and click enter. It will just carry on with the next line of code. Now we need to make it so it actually has an effect on our code. So how do we do this? Well, if you look at our hello world script code here and we do this plus name, we can do it like this. This will, this will make it a bit more grammatically make sense. Hello world from name. Click F5 again, it will save it. So it says, what is your name again? So let's type in Saul. Hello world from Saul. And again, you can type that for literally anything. So let's go back again to our normal idle. Click F5. What is your name? If I type in, uh, let's think of another, let's think, let's just do Cyborg X, obviously. Hello world from Cyborg X. That works for anything. Any caps, anything, it will put it exactly how you type. But if you want to do a number, what's hap like, what happens then? Well, let me show you. What is your name? Uh, 007. It works fine. That's just because Python is nice sometimes. Sometimes stuff like that will not work and you will have to change it accordingly. But I think that about wraps it up for our first lesson. So I've taught you today how to say hello world. As if you remember, you just get rid of all this. Let me just show you how to do hello world again. Boom, that's just a normal hello world. And it'll print hello world if you click F5 or you go to the top and click run, run module. Then I taught you how to do an input. So you type in, you type in a variable name, can be anything. I did name because that makes more sense. Equals input, what is your name? Make sure you have this space after just because it looks much nicer when you do. And then you can then you close it with a semicolon or you do dot lower, double brackets or dot upper to make everything uppercase and lowercase. Like I'll show you now for uppercase again. And then to get your name to actually have an effect on your code, you do this. I mean, again, you don't need from blah, 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 blah. You can have anything you want there. Hello world says name, whatever you want. I'm just doing from because that makes more sense in my head. And then name, semicolon to close it. You don't need a semicolon, but it, it does. You don't need a semicolon, but it is proper practice. Then you click F5 again or run module. What is your name? My name is, let's just type this in all lowercase, Saul, and change this to uppercase. And that will happen if you type dot lower, double brackets as well. Take run module or F5 again. What is your name? So if I type in Saul, all lowercase, boom, it changes it to uppercase because Python's amazing with stuff like this. And again, it will do the same for vice versa. So I really hope you enjoyed this. This is a really new kind of series for me. I promise I'll make I promise I'll keep getting better and I will stop stuttering and having to cut out audio because I mess up quite a bit when I speak. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoy and hopefully can learn something. If you, want, if you have a little tutorial idea you want me to do and teach you about it, please say. I'm not the best at Python. I can definitely do a lot more than average, I'd say. Even if it's by using a lot of code to do, even a lot of simple code to do one big thing. That's how I kind of use it. There are probably much simpler ways to do it, but that's how I do it. If you have a question about Python, about how to do this, please leave it in the comments below. And if not, I'll just keep thinking how to do stuff. How to teach you stuff and what to teach you. So yeah, thank you everyone for joining me and I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.